Right, here we go. We're in uh, XTC's Lotus, along with the uh, Ferrari. Is there any Ferraris? Where are they? Oh, they're up there. Okay, so uh, Lotus Type 40, the Ferrari 330. We're at Le Mans, four laps. Let's get going. Right, <coughs> before we start, yeah, we've started. XTC on his website, and I will leave a link in the description below, has posted up all the stuff he's working on, which is five new cars, two of which are in this group, namely the Ford GT40 and the Ferrari 512M. Yeah, so you can have four cars in this group. Uh, other cars he's working on is the 1990 Monterey stock car um, and another one to go with his 66-67 Mustang Chevette and that's the um, big winged thing name escapes me um, but those cars are excellent so that's an addition to that group as well Oh, there's no fifth gear, Owen, don't do that. Um, so yeah, that's it, that's four. The fifth one, uh, MX-5. Yeah, AMS-2 is getting the MX-5. It's been long enough. It's in every other blessed racing sim, and it's always considered one of the classic cars in that sim. AMS-2? No, we don't need that. Well, XTC's remedied it with a um, little encouragement from Rocky at PCMT. But I'll leave a link in the link in the description below. You can have a look at images of all the cars it's working on uh, and the percentage that he's uh, so far completed on them. So you'll see what's coming and when, roughly. Anyway, back to this. So, what's happened was, this Lotus 40 was released, and we all went, ooh, weak at the knees. Uh, a week or two later, no fifth gear on, put it back and forth, uh, <laughs> before I let go of that clutchy bloody engine. So a week or so later, the car in front of the Ferrari, 330p, was released. And we all went misty-eyed again, jumped in that and went, ooh, weak at the knees. And we all forgot about the Lotus, because we were all playing with a Ferrari. Um, which is a shame, get back in the Lotus. It's such a beautifully balanced car, it really is. It makes the Ferrari seem, although it is beautiful and really nice, makes it feel just a little bit like a hammer. A hammer? A hammer. Yeah. Don't know what accent that was, a hammer. Went a bit Dutch. <laughs> and for Dutch, um, with my hammer. So, yeah. Wrong gear. Dear me, what are you doing, Owen? Trying to talk, that's what you're doing, and drive. So, yeah, jump back in the lows. It's you have so much feedback coming back from the force feedback. That's what force feedback does, by the way. Just everything on the brakes, just slip angles, every bump, every lump, the throttle control, everything is just beautiful on it. You can just, it's like dancing around on ice, if you could dance around on ice without slipping around like a... Uh, demented thing you know if you're on ice skates and you're a professional like that smooth not that any of us are but it's, it's a bad analogy I know I'm sorry little lock up there the wheels coming in so there you go that's what's coming more of this and more of everything else <coughs> <coughs> Come on, come on.
traction is not attained by going sideways. Uh, this is attained by keeping smooth. Number four to two, please take note. There we go, skipped in front. Get on the toe of the Ferrari in front. Take your hand off the uh, gear stick, Owen. You're in top. There is no more gears. I have uh, increased the ratio by one just to give me a bit more top end because I was damaging the engine. So we're not quite yet hitting the red line. No, which is good. We've got 3% damage. That's me being overzealous on the downshifts. I like that. <laughs> Around the Ferraris having a little battle in the braking zone. A little bit lighter, a little bit more delicate. Although they've got a bit more up down the straights. I'm running them at about 110%, which is normal for me. You do tend to stir a lot at the at the singular mirror. Everything seems to appear very quickly in it. Whoa! From gear, that was fourth. Try second, Owen. And on we go. Ooh, end of the month on straight. Take your hand off the gearbox, Owen. <laughs> Just can't resist. It's like, I want another gear. No, you haven't got one. problem with these cars you tend to uh, just start looking around it going look at that and then find a tree it's worse when you're surrounded by them because you're looking at those ones as well well we're fighting with the lead pack anyway which is something as long as I can keep this uh, honest keep a track of who's around me down to first big blip that'll be a bit more damage on the engine that's all that no we're still on three percent that's good that's good about dropping that gear for this track because this is obviously a stupidly fast track um i think lap three it was on about 15 percent damage just from the bus on straight really He's coming back across, giving room. So anyway, multiplayer, multiplayer, multiplayer. So a few of you said, oh yeah, more of the same, please. Um, but I found, as in the past, not a lot of people watch it, really. It's kind of, um, you about half the people who normally watch my videos don't bother watching it. Which is fair enough. I want some tuning for um, to look at mods. Not at me driving around at night in a GT4. Come on. It's my mistake there. Distracted by talking yet again. So yeah, I mean, mm, GT4s, my no headlights, people crashing everywhere. I enjoyed it, but majority of the people who, uh, who tune in don't because don't lie people so I will do some more in the future but I think it's going to be resignated to how slow are you going oh, come on I think it's going to be resignated to their back with um, the occasional video along with uh, Vito and the SDR stuff Home. SDR stuff's great. It's educational, technical stuff. Fifth gear, stop it. Yeah, four damage. Yeah, the SDR radio stuff is great. Uh, the, the, you get double the amount of money per thousand views. Unfortunately, I get one tenth of the views that kind of AMST video. It's kind of counterproductive, really. 
but yeah, we'll carry on doing some of those for uh, some of the people who uh, are into the uh, radio hammering and stuff. Uh, so I'm not going to beat our video in a while, but we'll get on that next week, I suppose. See what's new out there. But it looks like there's, uh, we've got 1.6 coming and we've um, obviously got a lot of mods coming as well. So that will keep the majority of people and me happy. Ooh. Back up. What position are we in here? Fifth. Okay. Make that fourth. Aha! Hammer. Sorry, hammer. Trying to maximise my braking, trying to keep the corner in smooth. Just catches the gravel. But we kept him behind us. This is the main thing. Hand off the gear stick, ring four forward. <laughs> this is there, and one more lap to go. On this, oh, we've got a bit of a run on him. Oh, podium position. Thank you. He's on the inside of me, isn't he? Yeah, of course so. You need to spot him one of these cars just to look over your shoulder. It's VR, my friend. That's a first. Okay, though. Now I'm in front. It is my teammate, matching colours and everything. Keep an eye in my rear view mirror on him. He's having a look. I'm going to keep the uh, to the right hand side of the track. No, I've pulled away a bit. Ah, brake late. Ooh. Brake very late. That well, puts me on the inside for this corner. The silver car is just behind me. I'm up into second place. Coming up on the last lap, which means I'm going to finish in last. <laughs> After some horrendous crash of rubber. Just settle down, calm it down. Got to keep an eye on the guy behind me because he will make some crazy moves. I'm not on lap five yet. Back end hooked up and sent me to the right. Back into fourth with a Ferrari back on me, that simple. Wow. Okay, this is it, do a die lap. <laughs> Tires chirping. There we go. Get off me, get off me, thank you. Go in front. Going up into third gear up the hill and the car still just steps out sideways on the power. In a straight line. Curb. Get in the slipstream, get back on them. Hand off the gearbox, Owen. Check engine damage. We are up to 6%. Okay. Don't need to bother watching that anymore. Three wide, why not? And break him. Okay, we're in from now whoops got in a bit hot there not going out there they're on a charge let's come back in okay most of this uh, next bit of driving is going to be my head pinned to that mirror that's fifth stop it slap oneself uh, snip down to second on the transition. Control it on the throttle. That was about half throttle. That and the back end was just dancing around. <laughs> These cars are just so well balanced. It's unbelievable. Hand off the gearbox. 
I'm gonna call a video that like, hand off the gear hooks. Up. Just didn't want to stop. Now I won't get on the power. Come on, get it straight. What happened? Oh, that's what's happened. My front right is half. Front right tyre is half. So obviously that right hander, big right hander on the heavy braking at the end of the straight has just been eating that tyre. And it certainly ate it that time. Okay, I need to get up the inside, I need to be quiet. Got to remember that front right is not all the... Don't lean on it too hard because it will let you down, are you? Front left's all right. I want a podium. Not my first, but maybe a bit of a tall order. I'm certainly in front of these two at the moment just thinking ahead now for which corners which left handers are going to catch me out so this one isn't because this is right hander so we'll take advantage of that this one problematic get the back out use the slip to get around again problematic not problematic but there's nowhere for me to go Go, 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 go. I think it's going to be an outbreak in into the uh, it's still at the side of me, isn't it? No, I'm in front, I'm in front. Just managed it. Now it's going up the inside. Oh, bailed. Had to get the place back. Try and keep second. Yeah, front right just absolutely collapsed in the last lap. Alright, got a podium, got a second. Happy days. Have a uh, good whatever's left of the weekend. Adios.